In this lesson, we're going to look at a different strategy for subtracting integers. And this strategy um, is my personal favorite um, that I learned from a colleague. Um, and I like it because it gives a nice little rhyme to stick in our heads um, that help us um, turn our subtraction problems into addition problems. So the strategy is this. When you see a subtraction symbol, cross the line and change the sign. So you can see the nice rhyming quality this has. Okay, so what's the line we're talking about here? Well, this is the subtraction symbol. And the thing we're changing the sign in is the number to the right of the subtraction symbol. All right, so it looks like this. I've got 14 minus 25, so here's a subtraction symbol. So I am going to cross the line and change the sign. So what we end up with is 14 plus negative 25. And it's just as simple as that. Cross the line, change the sign. And then 14 plus negative 25, we know how to deal with that. We will subtract. And of course our answer ends up being negative 11. Let's go over here to this one. Negative 56 plus 29. This is a negative symbol, so we're not going to do anything with that. But right here we've got a subtraction symbol. So we are going to cross the line, change the sign. And again, let's rewrite it to clean it up here. Negative 56 plus negative 29. And again, we have addition, so we know what to do. The signs are the same, so we will add the absolute values. And since they're both negative, the answer is negative 85. All right, now down here, we're going to still do cross the line, change the sign, uh, but the process will look just slightly different. Uh, again, this is a subtraction symbol here, but this is a negative, uh, indicating a negative 15. So the cross the line happens here. So cross the line and then change the sign of negative 15. Well, I think the nice visual way of doing that is also putting a, uh, turning that negative into a plus. So it's cross the line, change the sign. And so 3 plus positive 15, and I don't really need to put the positive symbol in front. Uh, we can just leave it as 15. 3 plus 15, of course, is 18. Moving over here, same thing, this is a negative, this is a negative, this is a subtraction symbol. So I'm going to cross the line, change the sign. So this becomes negative 27 plus 31. And then negative 27 plus 31, we need the difference of those two absolute values. And the answer, of course, is 4. 